Hello everybody, we're here in the Blue Spruce Workshop today taking a look at our ultimate coping saw. This is one of our oldest and most popular products. That being said, it also comes with a lot of questions. So we're here today to walk you through some basic setup and maintenance steps. Your saw arrives in the box set up and ready to go, so right away you can get to exploring. The parts we'll talk about the most are the thumb wheels, locking cap nuts, front cap, and the internal rotation sleeves. Before you explore too much, please allow us to share this tip. The internal rotation sleeves should remain within your saw frame at all times. Each one houses a bunch of 16th inch ball bearings that will go everywhere if they fall out. Like this. Don't worry, we can help if this happens. Give us a call or shoot us an email and we'll be sure to get you up and running again. The good news is that I can only make that mistake if the saw is under virtually no tension. Your saw is set up to cut on the push stroke, but if you want to swap that or you break a blade, here's how to do that. Keeping the frame horizontal, loosen the handle, but don't remove it. To get enough room to release the blade pins, you may need to push the handle towards the front of the saw a bit. Now, either flip or replace your blade. Retighten the handle and you're good to go. As long as your locking cap nuts didn't move, your tension should still be set. If you've lost some tension, release the handle a quarter turn and turn the locking cap nut beside it a half turn counterclockwise. Retighten the handle. Repeat this process until you reach your desired tension. Releasing tension is the same process. Loosen the handle, but this time, turn the locking cap nut clockwise when you adjust in increments. If you run out of thread on the blade holder, you can get more tension from the front end. It's the same process as the handle side. Just loosen the front cap a quarter turn, twist the locking cap nut half a turn counterclockwise, and retighten the front cap. Now that we're tensioned, we can make some cuts. So now we're ready for the frame to get out of the way. If I just loosen both thumb wheels all the way, the frame is free to completely rotate around the blade still under tension. And if I want to lock it in place, there's a stop at every 45 degrees where I can do that. Just eyeball the frame to the nearest 45, making sure that your blade isn't twisting. Tighten back your thumb wheels, and there you go. You may need to wiggle the handle a bit to get the rotation sleeves properly set. This is a great application for trimming out dovetail waste. You may have also noticed the fret blade installed here. If you got our fret blade adapter, install it just like a coping saw blade. Line up the pins in the slots, there's no up or down to worry about here. The scroll saw blades are secured by these thumb screws and tension is adjusted the same way as before. You'll want to release some tension before installing the blade. You can learn even more about the ultimate coping saw or order yours by clicking the link below. While you're there, check out the other great tools in our lineup. We'll see you next time.